Welcome to Pokemon's Facts and today in episode 2 we're going to go over disturbing, creepy and weird Pokemon. Facts. To start off our first Pokemon disturbing fact, Spoink. Spoink is a Pokemon that relies on bouncing in order to keep itself to survive. So Spoink basically has to keep bouncing all day on its tail in order to survive. And the Ruby Dexit is stated, Spoink bounces around on its tail. The shock of its bouncing makes its heart pump. As a result, the Pokemon cannot afford to stop bouncing. If it stops, its heart will stop. So that means if it stops, it will eventually go ahead and die. And then Leaf Green it says, and Leaf Green and Fire Red it says, it apparently dies if it stops bouncing about. It carries a pearl campro on its head. So that's kind of a bit disturbing because, you know, this Pokemon has to be forced to jump all the time or else it might go ahead and just die. So <laughs> that's not pretty cool. That's kind of disturbing. For the next disturbing Pokemon fact is Gothitella. A Pokemon that can actually see the trainer's lifespan. In the Pokedex entry for white, black, and two, it states, They can predict the future from placement and movements of stars. They can see the trainer's lifespan. And in black two and white two, it states, It can see the future from the movement of stars when it learns its trainer's lifespan. It cries in sadness. It's also mentioned in X and Y as well. So one of the things this Pokemon is pretty creepy. <laughs> And its previous ev previous evolutions have creepy facts about it as well, such as Golf Dorito, which can actually s control people using hypnosis and control them where they move at night and stuff like that. It's, it is very and and why it is stated that according to many old tales, it creates friends for itself by controlling sleeping children on starry nights. So that's pretty disturbing how <laughs> it will just keep controlling ch sleeping children at night. For the next disturbing Pokemon fact is Parasect. Parasect is a Pokemon that is controlled by its host Parasites, the big mushroom on its back. And in the red and blue Pokedex entry it states, a host Parasite pair in which the Parasite mushroom has taken over the host bug prefers damp places. And in yellow it states, the bug host is drained of energy by the mushrooms on its back. They appear to do all the thinking. So it's kind of disturbing if you look at it in a way. It's no longer a Paris. It's not Paris controlling itself as the Pokemon. It's the big bag. The big mushroom in the back of the Pokemon. Which is doing all the thinking and all the controlling. So it's sort of like a zombie Pokemon in my opinion. But the Parasite is actually the one controlling it. So it's actually pretty disturbing if you see it in any different way. The next disturbing Pokemon. Facts is Drifloon. Drifloon is a Pokemon that was introduced into the Diamond Generations, Generation 4 I believe, and it's actually a really strange Pokemon. In the Pokedex entries throughout the games, it states all of these quotes. A Pokemon formed by the spirit of people and Pokemon. It loves damp, humid seasons. In Pearl it states, it tugs on the hands of children, steal them away, however it gets pulled around instead. And Platinum it states, because of the way it floats aimlessly, an old folk tale calls it signposts for wandering spirits. And also in black and white it starts stating the same things in different ways. Even in X and Y it keeps on stating. So this Pokemon is actually pretty creepy. If a kid or a children decides to hold it, it could wind up missing. So I don't know why they did this, but this Pokemon doesn't seem all disturbing at all. But when you look at the Pokedex entries, all the states that it takes kids and it's formed by spirits of people, this is a really strange Pokemon. So that's why Drifloon deserves to be in the disturbing Pokemon. And for the next disturbing Pokemon fact is Yamask. This Pokemon is actually said to have been the spirit of the person who used to be human and that the face on it is actually the copy of the face of the human when he used to live. So let's go into the Pokedex entries and state what is stated. <laughs> Each of them carries a mask that used to be its face when it was a human. Sometimes they look at it and cry. 
These Pokemon arose from the spirits of people interred in graves in the past ages. Each retains memories of its former life. These Pokemon arose from spirits of Pokemon interred. Each retains a memory. Okay, that was repeated <laughs> at the end. But yeah, it's pretty creepy if you look at it. It's basically a human that's already been dead. And, and it has the face of themselves as the mask as you see in the front. And that makes it just as weird as it can get. That's very weird, actually. <laughs> For the next disturbing Pokemon fact is Phantom. Phantom. It looks like a tree. So let this is from the new generation X and Y. And in the Pokedex entry, it states, These Pokemon are created when spirit possesses rotten tree stumps. They prefer to live in abandoned forests. And why it states, according to old tales, these Pokemon are stomps possessed by the spirit of children who died while lost in the forest. So that is actually pretty disturbing and pretty creepy. Uh, how could they add this into the game? And um, yeah, it's the latest and scary disturbing Pokemon. So yeah, it's inhabited by children or spirits and they just wander in random abandoned forests. So yeah, that's pretty creepy. And for the next disturbing Pokemon fact, do people eat Pokemon? Well, I guess they probably do. As you see in one of the episodes in the anime where Ash is stranded on that ship and they're, they can't get out, him and Brock are imagining eating a magic carp. <laughs> so this could be a possibly theory that, it, that they do actually eat Pokemon because why would they think about eating a magic carp? And as well as that and in several different areas they say they cut off slow pokes tails i don't know if they eat them because or they just chew on them and that's pretty weird and i think throughout the games there's been several mentions of that they they eat pokemon and also do pokemon eat each other could this be a possibility because um in one episode in the anime as well snorlax tries to eat misty's goldeen but you know it didn't end up eating it but you know could that be like something or could it just be something that they played on with so I'm just saying Pokemon could possibly eat each other as well all right thanks for watching I hope you enjoy my episode 2 of Pokemon facts and I will be doing more hopefully later on in the future thanks for watching also if you want to check out my previous Pokemon facts video make sure to click on that little box right there in the middle and you'll be able to go and watch Pokemon Facts Episode 1. And just go ahead and click me. <laughs>